Welcome to another edition of Inside the Film Room presented by Microsoft Surface. The Giants with a tough road loss at Seattle defensively. They knew they had the work cut out for them. They had to stop the run. They did a good job of that. 87 rushing yards total against Seattle. But really what they did a great job of was getting off the field on third down. They held a Seattle for three for 13 on third down and a lot of it was pressure. The Giants also got three sacks on the game and we're going to go right to one of those sacks. This is the second quarter now. All right. The Giants 7-7 to against Seattle. It's third down and 10, and Seattle's trying to get a big first down right here. So right out of the gate, you notice that the Giants are kind of in their, you know, their dime package, basically, and you've got four defensive linemen, all right? One, two, three, four D linemen, and most teams will kind of play their nickel package, which means this would be a linebacker and that's a linebacker, but you'll see on the end zone that that is, in fact, uh, Dane Belton, and Landon Collins, so they're kind of going with the, the faster, speedier package, their dime package. Now, on the snap, I think the biggest thing to point out is just how the pre-snap shenanigans kind of go on. As a quarterback, you could see, look, O-Lyman, they're pointing out who they have. Um, you could see that Geno is kind of talking to his running back. He steps up right here to kind of change the protection based on the defense that he sees. But all this communication is going on, and you can see, look, the Giants, this is Tripp's right formation for them defensively. So how have they adjusted to it? All right, you've got four de defenders back here, one, two, three, four. All right, but they're kind of rotated, right? They're not rotated over towards Tripp's right. So that's one little bit alert. And this is the guy that's lurking over here, Xavier McKinney. Now, anytime a receiver has this tight split, he's inside the numbers, this guy is always a threat to be a blitzer because he's got a short route to the quarterback, right? If this receiver is all the way out here and he's got a blitz, this is a long way to run from. If you're all the way here, you're never gonna get there in time. So the fact that this receiver has a cut split and Xavier McKinney is closer to the ball allows him to get home on this blitz before the ball comes out. Now you can see I drew the defensive lineman on the, on the snap. You'll see this is Jihad Ward, all right? That's Tamon Fox. They're both dropping in coverage to take away any underneath throws right here that Seattle's trying to hit him with. And you could see Xavier McKinney is going to get a free shot at Geno Smith on this play because the running back slides over to the left thinking he has Landon Collins on the blitz. So in real speed, there's the sack. All right, Giants are all fired up. You get a big sack like that on third and ten. You're getting off the field. It's a big morale boost. Now here from the front, you can see, all right, this is, here's the D lineman. All right, there's Leo. There's Jihad. This is Landon Collins right here. All right, he's going to rush. Tamon Fox is going to bail out. Ward's going to bail out. Leo is going to go in here. Belton is going in here. And Xavier is coming right up the chute right here. Now, look at how the Seattle tries to block, right? So we're here. We're here. This running back pre-snap, you could kind of see, look at his eyes, right? He's not even looking. He's not even looking out here at Xavier, right? He's, his eyes right now are on Dane Belton, all right? and he's looking at Landon Collins. So that's really what his scan is. And this is just a great disguise, great setup. Look, it was Halloween, all right? Wing Martindale put the mask on. And he said, we're gonna disguise this coverage and this blitz. And you can see this right guard, or left guard and left tackle kind of squeeze down to Landon thinking they have him in Ward. And as Tamon Fox drops off, there's nobody for the running back to block. And that's why Xavier McKinney came scot-free on this third and 10. You can see big sack, big hit right there. Luckily, no penalty. Uh, for him landing on the quarterback. You never know these days with the, with the quarterback personal fouls. But great job of scheming up a different look and great job by the Giants defense of disguising who the blitzer was, in that case, Xavier McKinney. He's had back-to-back -back games, big force fumble down in Jacksonville the week before, and now he comes up with his first sack of the season. Xavier McKinney, quietly been one of the D MVPs of this defense and doing a great job for the Giants. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Inside the Film Room, presented by Microsoft Surface.